So recently, there has been a lot of mid-range smartphones in the market, but not many of them has a great looking design. But Vivo here is trying to do things a little different with the Y33T. This is the latest mid-range offering from Vivo that has a really stylish design. And the color that I've got over here is the Starry Go model, which should look really interesting. So let's unbox the device and check out the features right now. All right, so let's do the usual unboxing stuff, All right? And just rip off the plastic. And there you go box looks pretty simple and behind the back there's a couple of specs that says that it is powered by a snapdragon 680 which is a really efficient processor from qualcomm you'll get a 50 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel bokeh and you get a 1080p full hd display and a 5000 mAh battery right so let's just take out the phone and there you go not the phone on top of course and here is the phone man this looks like the vivo v23 that we recently reviewed and look at this uh you know star trail design on the back here it looks so nice right but before we get to the phone let's check out what are what are the contents right inside the box so you get 3.5 mm headphones this is something i don't see a lot these days in mid-range phones and you get a type c cable the 18 watt charging brake Sadly, it's not the 44 watt charging brick from Vivo, otherwise that would have been a really great value for this phone. And finally, you should be getting the TPU case and manuals right over here. So there we go. All right, I've got the Y33T all set up and this is how it looks like. This is a 6.58 inch IPS display that has a 90 hertz refresh rate and it looks very, very nice despite not being an AMOLED display. And I'm really glad that Vivo has finally made high refresh rate screens a priority on their Y series smartphones. Now, taking a look around the phone, you can see that it is actually made entirely out of plastic. It has a plastic frame and a plastic bag. And I just got to mention again that I really like this uh, Star Trail like design case that makes it a really great fashion statement. And one thing I really got to commend Vivo right here is this really slim camera bump as opposed to other mid range phones that I've seen. This is definitely one of the slimmers that I've seen. So if you put it on the table, you know, it doesn't wobble as much as well because some other mid range phones that I've tested with thick camera bumps they do really really uh look pretty bad you know with that thick camera bump so the phone doesn't use a in display fingerprint reader because it's not an amoled display so you didn't expect that but rather i really like this side mounted fingerprint scanner because uh, as i'm using the phone right over here it actually feels nice and you you just kind of feel very natural to touch your thumb on it to unlock your phone just like this now this display here the bezels are actually a little thick in my opinion but i think that's something that you gotta just keep in mind because this is actually a an affordable phone so you get this dew drop notch right over here which is kind of pretty yesterday phones but then yeah this is a affordable mid-range phone so you got you get this kind of uh, affordable design now right at the bottom you get a headphone jack which is great because some mid-range phones no longer has headphone jacks anymore and also you get a USB-C port over here and unfortunately um, the Vivo Y33T still comes with a single speaker instead of stereo speakers which is kind of a shame because nowadays many mid-range phones are starting to offer dual stereo speakers but this one still comes with one. Now in terms of specs, the Vivo Y33T is powered by a really decent and efficient Snapdragon 680 processor that we have been very satisfied with. It has 8GB of RAM which is sufficient for app switching and multitasking but you can extend that amount of RAM up to 12GB with the extended RAM feature and you also get 128GB of storage which is actually decent for storing media and if you find that is not sufficient, you can pretty much expand it with a micro SD card. Now in terms of its operating system, this is Funtouch OS 12 based on Android 11 which I believe Vivo will be upgrading the Y33T to Android 12 at a future time but then I have no dates on that but then yeah because since it runs on the Snapdragon 680 processor I believe this will definitely get upgraded to Android 12 at a later time. Now in terms of performance, this is how the Vivo Y33T performs on Honkai Impact 3. Now this is actually quite a graphics intensive game. I've already turned on 60 frames per second with medium graphics setting. And I have to say that the Y33T handles the performance very, very well. Now I'm now about five minutes into the game already and the phone to be honest, didn't 
feel warm at all. I mean, it's slightly warm, but then it's not the kind of uh, warm that's really scary, you know? So yeah, I, I would have to say that the performance of the Y30 3T is really good for a mid-range phone. And, and that's all thanks to that Snapdragon 680 chipset it has. And one last thing I gotta mention right over here is that not many mid-range phones support Netflix HD, but the Vivo Y33T supports Netflix HD as you can see right over here. So if you intend to buy this phone for media consumption, this is actually a pretty great phone. So Vivo intends the Y33T to be a trendy and fun phone, which is why it has actually packed a 50 megapixel main camera on the back that actually works pretty well. I briefly played with it and to be honest, the image quality is actually pretty decent when I shoot indoors, right? As you can see, the details are actually great. Of course, if you take it outside, you'll find it a little bit overexposed, but I guess that's actually kind of okay for mid-range phone standards. So it's definitely a camera that you can use it for social media purposes or if you intend to go for a road trip and you want to take pictures with your friends, this is definitely a serviceable camera for that. Then as for the front camera, it has a 16 megapixel uh, selfie camera that I think all this while I have never had a problem with Vivo phones in terms of their selfie cameras. It looks great, smooth as my skin very naturally. And I think this is definitely one great selfie camera for road trips as well. If you want to take it with your friends or you want to take your own uh, selfies, it's actually a great front camera. The Vivo Y33T comes with a 5000 mAh battery on board and one thing I'm very impressed is that it doesn't feel heavy at all despite having that huge battery right inside. It only supports 18 watts of fast charging which is kind of unfortunate because most mid-range phones would have already offered faster speeds than that. But you know what, having this kind of charging speed also protects the battery in the long term and it's something that you just gotta plan ahead if let's say you happen to run out of juice, you just gotta keep it charged and you know let it just run and it will be fine as well. Now, in terms of battery life, I believe this phone will definitely last you more than a day because with the efficient Snapdragon 680 processor that's right inside and based on our previous experience, this will definitely last you more than a day if you are using it moderately with a two to three hour screen on time. So if you happen to use more than four hours or five hours, it will definitely require a charge at the end of the day. And I think that's actually pretty acceptable for most people out there. So with all these essential features and stylish design packed into this device, that's why I recommend that you go check out the Vivo Y33T. It retails for 999 ringgit, which I think is a pretty reasonable price for the features that it offers on the table. So yeah, that's pretty much all my first impressions and a quick hands-on review of the Vivo Y33T. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and I will see you guys in our next video.